Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to build a secret entrance using a kitchen sink. Now this is a concept by Kivan, a builder on my server and together with myself and Fenomen we built this contraption. So here is one of Kivan's modern houses, it is very pretty as you can see and if we go inside we will find what looks like a normal sink using cauldrons to represent the sinks and levers to represent the taps. However, this is no ordinary sink. If we hop inside the cauldron and hit the levers twice then we will be shifted through the floor and into a secret area. So here is the contraption. You can see it doesn't take up a lot of space. It is only seven blocks wide, four blocks tall and two blocks deep which makes it ideal for building inside a small modern house like this one over here. Now this works by using shifting floors. The pistons are going to push the blocks across to that side, then the pistons on this side will push them back across. And when the player is standing inside the cauldron, that means they're going to fall through the cauldron and the half slab down below. Now because we're using half slabs and cauldrons, neither of these are full blocks, which means the player won't take any damage when they fall through. So you can stand in either cauldron, you won't take damage, and you can also activate this with either lever as well. So let's take a look at how the redstone works. This is fairly simple to understand, although there are a couple of things going on you may not understand straight away. So this piston here it appears to be doing nothing, however we have two inputs for this machine. So if we use this one here we directly power this piston, which is fine. And if we use this one to the side of it, we're only going to bud power this piston. So we directly power this one and then it extends which provides an update to the one on this side. So this piston means that you can use either input. Now when we power this one and I unpower it, you're going to see the block goes up and then it gets pushed back down again. So when it gets pulled up, it's going to create a one tick pulse that goes off to the side here and it's a one tick pulse because this then gets powered again. You can see here the redstone is going to power this block which powers the piston and because it's just a one tick pulse it will then push the redstone block back down again. So let's see that one more time. It's going to get pulled up and then that one tick pulse is going to push it back down again. And so that one tick pulse also goes to the pistons here which pushes the blocks across the front and then on a slight delay from this repeater it then powers the ones on the other side which push them back across. So to build this you are going to need a few conditions for the location where you build it. Now the floor is going to need to be the same material so these need to be half slabs which kind of limits your options and the reason for this is because when you have your cauldrons here you can see the block that is underneath them. So if you had say a different material out here which didn't have a half slab form someone may be able to spot the secret entrance by looking at the bottom of the cauldrons. Now also you're going to need the walls to be nearby as well because we're going to have the pistons the other side of them and they need to be hidden. But to build this you're going to need the materials in this chest. You'll need four half slabs, 15 building blocks, five normal pistons, a sticky piston, a block of redstone, two redstone repeaters, three redstone dust, two cauldrons and two levers. So let's build this. We are going to start off by placing the pistons that shift the floor. Now we're going to need blocks in these two positions and we need our pistons to be behind them. So we come down here and put a piston here and one below it. Then you can put your half slab and your block back. And then on this side it needs to be one block further back. So we're going to place a block there and then when we go down here we can place the piston on that and one below it. And then you can put your half slab back and put a block on top of it. Now when you've done that we're going to go around the back, we're going to place a block to the side of this piston, to the side of that one as well, and then remove these three blocks here. We're going to put a sticky piston facing downwards and then one facing to the side like this. And then you need to place blocks in these positions. So just like that, now let's come back and have a look at that. And then when you've done that put your redstone block here, put a dust of redstone there, there and over here as well. And then you need a repeater here on the default setting, another one there, you need to right click that one twice and then this should be done. So if we come around the front and place our two levers and then test both of them, this thing should work. There we go. And that is how you build it. So as I said earlier in the tutorial, it's possible to make this longer as you can see here. Now this is really simple, you just need to change the wiring a little bit, just extend the redstone on this side over here. And on this side what you want to do is extend the redstone and then have it point into a block like this. So this is going to directly power the piston on top, but it's going to bub power the one below it which will receive an update from the one above. 
So that is it for this Minecraft tutorial. A big thanks goes out to Kivan for his idea and there is a world download in the description box available which is this map right here which includes Kivan's modern house and also over here the stuff in the tutorial as well. But that is it for this video. If you have enjoyed it please do give it a like. It is always appreciated. So as always thank you very much for watching and I will catch you next time.